SSS Veda Day 10. And I'm sitting outside here. I was looking at the feral cats. And hearing some sounds. I recognize some squirrels, but I don't recognize some of these other sounds that are coming through. But anyway, I'm out here with a copy of my book. Gorilla Data Analysis using Microsoft Excel. This is the second edition of the book. The original was written by Mr. Excel, Bill Jellin, and he asked me to update this book for Excel 2010-2013. I think there's a lot of cool stuff in here. The book starts off with an overview of things like um, formula notation, you know, when you have double quotes in an Excel formula. What does the double quote mean? Well, that means that nothing are empty greater than or equal to the ampersand, what happens when you see an exclamation point in a formula, or well, what that tends to mean is that there's another worksheet that's being referred to. Well, that part of the book is really short because the book is for people who have some idea about Excel. They can get their way around it, but this section is meant to be a refresher. As I wrote the book, I envisioned people who aren't trying to master Excel, but they need to get stuff done. So there's a section in here on comparing lists. Rather than just treat VLOOKUP like it's its own thing, stand alone with no context around it, I handled VLOOKUP inside of a common need, which is comparing lists. The pivot table section is by far the largest section in the book. I cover pivot tables quite thoroughly in this section. And rather than just focus on Excel, I added my own flavor by talking about the things that will help you get more from Excel. And one section here on page 112 is controlling user inputs and data integrity. This is the section where I show how to make drop down lists so that in the example you have somebody named Andrew Kim but then sometimes he's Andy Kim drop-down lists help you make that one name. Either it's going to be Andy or Andrew, but not both, because when you need to do a summary, you want all of that person's data together. Ensuring reasonable numbers. Say that you want to allow a grade to be any positive whole number up to 100. You can control that and keep people from putting goofy stuff in and messing up the analysis. Preventing start and end times from being reversed. So a person can't say that I started at 10 a.m. and ended at 1 a.m. the same day. No. You need an alert to either stop that or let you know that it's happened. Troubleshooting. When things have broken down in your spreadsheet, what are some tools Excel provides for digging that stuff out so that you know what's wrong? See, the approach to the book was based on a lot of things that I've seen over the years as I've worked with people and Excel in tutoring, uh, working with clients, workshops. I felt like it was necessary to add pieces on things like data integrity, troubleshooting, because standalone tricks, you know, it's like giving somebody a hammer and a bunch of nails and a saw and some trees and they can't put together a wood in a box. Or they can get it together and it won't be safe to stand on. That's why I felt like if I'm going to write about Excel, I need to write about good ways of using it so that it doesn't turn into you just looking at a whole bunch of tools and things in the backyard or you built something shabby and then you go stand on it and break your teeth off. No. I want to help. And so it was a pleasure to write this book. I'm going to give away three books. And I can only ship this in the U.S. So please subscribe to the blog. Let me know that you would like a book and why. Tell me about your relationship with Excel and why you'd like to learn more. It would be pretty cool. I'd appreciate that. I appreciate people dropping by, checking out the channel, checking out the videos. They've been a lot of fun. I appreciate the feedback and some of the discussions that have gone on.
let me know some things that you'd like to see in this channel in the future. Because I'm having a lot of fun doing videos, but it's got to mean something to you. Let me know if there's some things that I'm doing too much of and you don't want to see any more of it. Either way, let's do this together because this, this is not just for me. Um, I'm the one that has to do it. That's why I don't want to go back to just dry tutorials because that was not fun for me. Let's figure this out, me and you. All right?